What's going on guys? It's Machanga back with another video. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at a fantastic live streaming app you can find on your Amazon Fire TV devices, your Roku, iOS, if you're using an Apple TV, and also directly on the website. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some key points out of the way because I know all of you are probably wondering this right now. Is this a free option? No. Can you get a free trial? Yes, you can have a free trial for seven days if you want to try it out before paying on a monthly basis. It is available in the U.S., so if you are international, you may have to look elsewhere. We're going to take a look at the app interface on my Amazon Fire TV Cube. But like I mentioned before, there are several other devices you can use to watch Philo. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop on over to the app. If you already have Philo installed on your device, that's great. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to get it installed. So I'm just gonna go back to the home screen here. Now, in a lot of cases, you may actually see an advertisement for Philo on the home screen of your Amazon Fire device. If you see that advertisement, it's gonna allow you to click on it to download the app. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to search for it. So right on the home screen, all you have to do is access your search function, which is in the upper left-hand corner. And then you just type in Philo. All right, once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And it should be the very first option there. Now, while you're there about to install Philo, you may also see Pluto TV. Pluto TV is a great option and it's completely free. So you might want to go ahead and install that one as well. I've covered it in another video and I'll leave that link below in the video description. So feel free to check that out. But in this video, let's go ahead and focus on Philo. So we're going to click on it and next you're going to have the option to either get it or download it. So go ahead and click on either get or download. Once it's downloaded and the installation is complete, all you have to do is open it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the app. The very first thing you're gonna see is the option to start your free trial. It's seven days, you can cancel any time, and there's no contract involved with using Philo. It offers live TV and on-demand TV. So you can actually record episodes and save some of your favorite shows to watch later. So that's a great option here. Also, you can go ahead and take a look at the channel lineup that's available on this app. If you wanna subscribe right away, you can go ahead and do that. But I recommend just start the free trial and decide for yourself if this is something that you're willing to pay $20 a month for. One thing I will let you know, if you are a big sports fan or if you're looking for local channels and local news, this is definitely not going to be the right option for you. But if you have some favorite shows that you like to watch on, let's say, a and &E, AMC, TLC, Investigation Discovery, BET, OWN, if those are some channel networks that you're interested in and that you like to watch, you definitely want to give Philo a try. Once you sign in or start your free trial, you're going to have your profiles here. Just open it up. If you already use streaming services, then it's going to look pretty familiar as far as the layout goes. All of them pretty much have a very similar interface. Underneath each tab, you're gonna have your trending now. And below that, you're gonna have your trending live. So if you wanna check out what's playing on LMN right now, you can click on it. I'm gonna give it a moment and it's gonna to start to play. Of course, I'm not gonna actually show it, but I just want to show you how quickly it starts up for you. Underneath your trending live, you have your recommended options. And you can scroll through to see what's available there. Below that, you have top movies on Philo. So if you're just not here for the live TV options, the 50 channels, you also have movies available. Going down, you have new and upcoming options. And this is a great way to check out what's brand new, and what's gonna be available coming soon. So let's go ahead and head back to the top and then we're gonna move over to the guide. Again, this looks like your traditional TV guide. So you can scroll through, see what's playing right now and see what's coming on later. 
So let's say I wanna watch the Parkers later. I can click on it and then I can actually save it. So if I wanna watch it later, I can save it. If I click on all episodes, it's gonna show me all of them that are available and it's gonna let me know if it's gonna be saved to my DVR or not. So let's say you found something that you actually wanna watch, but you have to go to work or you have to go to the gym or you have to do something else and you wanna be able to watch it later, you can do that. Again, this is 20 bucks a month and you still get the option for live plus movies plus DVR. Alrighty, so we're gonna go on back. And again, you can scroll through and see all of the channels, the full channel lineup right here underneath the guide. Once you have any episodes or shows saved to your DVR, you're gonna be able to find them under the save tab. Moving over, you have the search option. So if there's a specific show you're looking for, you can search for it here. And last, you have your settings. All right, we're gonna go back to home. Now, I know this is not a free option, but I don't have the expectation as a cord cutter to never have to pay another subscription fee ever. If you do have that expectation, then obviously this is not the video for you. But if you're looking for a low cost option, that streams seamlessly on several different devices and platforms, you definitely want to check out Philo. And of course, take advantage of the full week free trial to determine if this is going to be something that you're interested in or not. Like I said, you can find this directly on your Amazon Fire TV device simply by performing a search. If you need assistance with locating it on other platforms, let me know down in the comment section and I will try my best to help you out. In my opinion, this is a great alternative to paying for cable. So whether you're new to the cord cutting world or if you've been in it for a while like I have, I feel like this is something you should definitely check out and add to your subscriptions if you're not already paying for too many. So if you found this video to be helpful and or informative, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, it's been a pleasure sharing with you guys. I really appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.